In this video, we will learn uh, briefly about uh, the curves in economics. Uh, we have the Lorentz curve, Leffert curve, Phillips curve, Kuznets curve, and J curve. Okay. So let's take first this Leffer curve. It was given by Arthur Leffer in 1974. It shows the tax uh, the relationship between tax rate and tax revenue, and its graph will look like this. Okay. So let me draw the graph of this. So we have the graph like this. On this axis, we have the tax revenue, and here we have the tax rate. Okay. Uh, tax rate. Okay. So the graph looks sim uh, very simple. It, the graph is like this. It shows that initially, if we increase the tax rate, our tax revenue will increase. Okay. So initially, if we increase the tax rate, our tax revenue will increase. But after reaching certain threshold level of tax rate, if we want to increase uh, the tax rate, you know, further a threshold point, our tax revenue will. Uh, decrease okay so after reaching let us say to this point our tax revenue will start decreasing okay this is being given by arthur Leffer. then we have the philippus curve okay so philippus curve was given by william philippus in 1958 it shows the relationship between unemployment rate and inflation and its graph will look like this so we have unemployment rate on this axis and we have inflation rate on this axis okay and there is negative relationship between unemployment and inflation uh, in the short run obviously this was given by william Phillips for short run it is for short run okay in short run we have the negative relationship between you know unemployment rate if unemployment rate decreases sorry increases inflation will increase okay similarly if unemployment rate increases our inflation sorry if our unemployment rate decreases our inflation rate will increase so there is negative relationship between unemployment and unemployment rate and inflation okay then we have the uh, you know kuznets curve so it was given by simon kuznets in 1905 it is the relationship between growth and inequality and its graph is like this we have you know income per let, let me write here per capita income per capita income on this axis we have inequality on this axis inequality okay it also shows initially okay as the economy develops market forces first increase and then decrease economic inequality okay so as the country develops initially the income inequality will increase okay so if there is you know in uh, you know uh, economic growth initially there will be increase in income inequality okay so income will increase but inequality will also increase but reaching to a certain threshold threshold level if uh, our per capita income increases we will have the decrease in inequality okay so initially we have uh, you know some sort of um, uh, the market forces are like this that the in, uh, inequality first increases okay then it decreases with the passage of time okay then we have the j curve okay so j curve is related with the time path of countries trade balance following devaluation or depreciation so what does this uh, tell us let us draw the graph here so the graph looks like this on this axis we have the trade surplus we have trade deficit on this axis it shows us the time path and this j Rush tells us that trade deficit will initially worsen after uh, you know currency devaluation okay if we devalue our currency initially trade and deficit will increase okay so we will have increase in that trade deficit okay and uh, that trade deficient uh, you know trade deficit initially grows after a devaluation as the price of the exports rise before the quantity can adjust and with the passage of time the trade deficit will decrease okay so first we have the increase in trade deficit up to this point after that we uh, the trade deficit you know uh, shrinks and gets lower and lower so this was about j curve and then we have the Lorentz curve 
It was given by Max Lawrence in 1905. It shows the graphical representation of income inequality and its graph will look like this. Okay, so we have this line of perfect equality and then we have this curve. Okay, so on this axis we have cumulative share of people from lowest to highest income on this axis and on this axis we have the cumulative share of income earned by the people and this is our line of perfect inequality sorry life of line of perfect equality and this shows our lawrence curve okay assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam ek baaz mein hoy lagega ha koi aap na try e apan be okay i hope i make myself clear thank you